Good evening. It's arguably one of the most important days at Toronto City Hall. The final debate for the 2020 budget, which uh, was approved just moments ago here today. Well, the $13.5 billion plan sets the tone for the year. Let's first start with some rising costs. Homeowners will see a 2% tax hike at the rate of inflation, but combining that with the city building levy passed late last year, your average Toronto homeowner will be paying an additional $128. This is a good, responsible, realistic, forward-looking budget. It's a budget for making Toronto worse. It says our roads are going to get worse, our daycare centres are going to get worse, libraries worse. So how will the city fund its programs and services? Nearly 40% will come from the property tax. 1.3 billion will come from TTC fares, which by the way will be increasing by 10 cents. I know it's not easy. Mm -hmm. um, that said, you know, the obligation of balancing a budget and providing a good quality service does require an increase in this, in this case. Though the city is required to pass this budget, there is a $77 million shortfall. The mayor is expecting the federal government to fill this gap. That would go towards providing housing and services to refugees. But the funding is not yet guaranteed. No checks yet, but I'm confident that they will understand that that responsibility is not a one-off deal that happened last year and that we'll get that funding again. Then there are the gaps the city says are caused by provincial funding cuts to child care. And the city is stepping in to maintain the existing subsidies. We have a growing waiting list for people who need subsidies for child care. In fact, there are nearly 14,000 people on the waiting list. The provincial government is cutting 176 subsidies this year. By the end of the day, Councillor Crawford, who is also the city budget chief, says they'll have $80 million of new investments. That's a pretty good number compared to other years, but recognizing even over the last six years, every year we keep property taxes low, every year we do new investments. Calling for the hiring of additional frontline workers, including 62 new paramedics, 300 new police officers, 21 librarians for youth hubs, 121 TTC operators for streetcars and buses, and more funding. And that includes transit, community safety, the environment, uh, and affordable housing and kids and families. 150 services are being funded in this budget. I mean, we don't really have like a stable program right now. Like, we don't really have nothing really going on. A big deal for members of the Regent Park community. Area Councillor Kristen Wong Tam says she's confident this funding will come through. This is just the beginning of us uh, very uh, intelligently addressing the long-term sustainability and growth of the city by making sure we have adequate revenue tools to, um, to extend the services that residents depend uh, on the City of Toronto for.